What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. This is um, week one for um, the sign of Aquarius for 2021 for the month of November. This can resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheim, Jupiter. Don't, don't forget basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. I got one channel message in as I was meditating on your energy, and the message is getting it straightened out. That's what I heard. So that could be you getting something straightened out or someone you're connected to, but someone's getting something straightened out. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, all right, let's roll. Two of Swords Upright, Eight of Cups Upright, Devil Reversed. A big decision coming up soon regarding happiness. Some of a family, some of children. Some of your personal relationship. Okay, so you plug in how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, I heard um, big decisions coming up soon regarding some of your relationships. So for some, you're in a committed relationship of some shape, form, or fashion. Girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, spouse, etc. Some um, children and some a family. So this is a decision, decision energy for some. Um, I feel it's your family, your children, or your um, um, relationship. For some, it could be somebody connected to you in some shape, form, or fashion, and you have some kind of part in it. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but Eight of Cups Upright is basically decision about the happiness of your you, your relationship, your kids, your family, or somebody else's. Uh, for some, I feel you can be positions of high authority and you are helping um, make this decision in some shape, form, or fashion, and that could be getting it straightened out energy as well. Um, getting it straightened out so people can move on and be happy in their life and not be stuck in toxicity because we have devil reverse. So um, not wanting you or somebody you're connected to or children or family or et cetera, et cetera, or your children or your family being stuck in toxicity because um, we have devil reversed. For some, you could be dealing with the Capricorn because it's Cap's energy or not. If you are, they could have Cap's in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hamer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. And one particular Capricorn is about to cut off a Capricorn. They realize they are a very toxic person. Capricorn feminine. Okay, and I heard of one particular Aquarius is about to cut off her to cap spim. Um, you realize they are a very toxic person. So um, it's a cap spim energy. I'm assuming it's an adult energy, 18 or older. They can have caps in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, Manhattan, or Jupiter. You plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have sign up for. Spirit messages you have sign up for. A particular Aquarius is about to really stand up for someone they never thought they would. Feminine energy realizes the real truth of things. Now. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a particular uh, Aquarius is about to stand up for um, fem energy. Um, if this resonates for you, Aquarius, you never thought, thought you would stand up for this feminine energy, but I heard you're seeing the real truth of things now. So um, maybe you thought this feminine energy was toxic or you thought um, they were 
negative or toxic or a dis, um, or something of that nature in the past, but you're really seeing the real truth of things now. So you're going to stand up for this feminine energy in some shape, form or fashion. Um, you have to plug that feminine energy in your life, however, that resonates for you. But I think you thought negatively of her in the past. Um, maybe it was from gossip of other people, or maybe um, I'm thinking it was gossip from other people because I don't think it's anything she displayed to you. For some, possibly it could be, but I'm feeling it could have been gossip energy. It could have been gossip energy. You just heard it from the gossip train and you just kind of went with it. Um, but I heard you're really seeing the real truth of things now. So you're seeing the real truth of things. And so that's why it's causing you to stand up for her. So I'm thinking whatever it was, it was through the gossip train um, in the past for some of you guys. For some, it could have been they were toxic and they turned their life around, possibly. Wheel of Fortune reverse, four of cups reverse. And a particular Aquarius is seeing the real truth about another feminine energy, very toxic. They are about to take some serious action against this toxic feminine energy. Holy crap. Okay. A lot of them energy in here and Capricorn energy. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So you're seeing the real truth about another fem energy. You've got yin and yang in here. One that's not toxic, you're seeing the real truth. One that is toxic and you're seeing the real truth. Um, but I heard you're going to take some action against this toxic fem energy soon. Um, whatever action that is in your life, um, that could be blocking them. That could be legal action. That could be um, something else. It um, you plug it in, how it resonates. It could be energy shifting away from them. You plug it in, how it resonates. But you, your one you thought was, I think, toxic in the past. They're not. One, they really are toxic, and you're seeing it for what it really is, basically. Um, fem energies. You plug it in, how, and then a caps fem that um, you see the real truth of this caps fem, and it sounds like they're toxic too, and you're going to energy shift away from them. For some, this toxic fem energy could be the caps. For some. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wheel of Fortune reverse, Four of Cups reverse. Cycles are about to be stuck for a particular Aquarius. Some Aquariuses, they're about to intentionally stick them. Some, they are about to be stuck unintentionally. Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Heard cycles are about to be stuck for an Aquarius. Uh, some of you guys, you're intentionally sticking these cycles. So you're intentionally sticking the wheel, um, however that resonates. And for some you're not intentionally sticking the wheel and it's going to be stuck for you. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's the wheel being stuck. Some you're intentionally sticking it yourself. Some you're not and you're going to be stuck in it. Um, wheel of Fortune, either it turns in your favor or not in your favor. But in this case, some you're intentionally sticking it for strategic reasons, but some you're not, you're going to be stuck in the stuck call, basically. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have for the sign of Aquarius. A particular Aquarius is about to, behind the scenes, relay some very important information about a toxic Gemini. It's going to help a very serious matter very soon. Help this Aquarius and other people. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, for some, a toxic Gemini. For some, a toxic Capricorn. Okay. A lot of toxic people. So you plug in how it resonates. So 
you're going to behind the scenes relay some very important information. Some on a toxic Gemini, some on a toxic Capricorn, some maybe both. They can have Gemini or Capricorn in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midnight, or Jupiter, if that resonates for you. But um, I hope you're going to behind the scenes relay it. So very, like a secret phone call energy um, is what I'm feeling on that. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, obviously, you're not going to speak of this secret communication, whether it's phone, email, text, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it's very important that you relay it. Um, and whoever you're going to relay it to, it's very important person um, regarding this Gemini, this Capricorn, or a situation regarding a Gemini or a Capricorn. Um, I feel these are adult energies. A Gemini and the Capricorn are adult energies. For some of you guys, it's just a Gemini. For some, it's a Capricorn. That could be a masculine or femme, Gemini or Capricorn. You plug it in how it resonates. Queen of Swords reverse, the Empress reverse. Huge truths are about to be revealed on a drug addict. Some Aquariuses, this is a family member. But you're going to let the process take its place this time. Let them get their justice. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, Aquarius. Um, so I heard huge secrets are about to be revealed on a drug addict. Um, I heard her. So it's a femme drug addict, or it could be a masculine that takes on femme energy. But um, it's a one of your family members, if this resonates with you. It's a family member. It sounds like you protected them in the past, but you're not protecting them anymore. Um, huge secrets are about to be revealed on this femme energy or masculine that takes on femme energy, their drug habit or drug use or something. I heard you're going to let the process take its place this time. So I think police getting called, if they have children's child protective services getting in there, um, something of that nature, um, maybe jail energy. Uh, well, I hope jail energy, um, but you plug it in, how it resonates, whatever process taking its place and however that resonates for this feminine or masculine femme energy drug addict. That is your family member. Um, this is the true, um, this was the lies in the past you were trying to cover up that they were a drug addict because I heard you're going to let it take its place now. So you did not in the past. So you, this was cover up energy. You're covering up the fact they were a drug addict in the past, but you're not anymore. I heard you're going to let it take its place now. So I think you're a prominent member of the community, Aquarius, if this resonates with you. I think you're a prominent member of the community. I don't think you do drugs, um, but obviously, you know, your family member does um, and you were covering up. This is cover up energy for them in the past. Um, and that's your feminine energy drug addict family member. Um, femme energy or masculine takes on feminine energy. The coming off is Empress reverse. So not stable, not grounded, but not reliable, not dependable. Um, they obviously, if, and Empress usually comes off with children or pregnant. So for some of these feminine energies, family members, they could be pregnant. For some, they could have children and they have children around drugs, which is freaking terrible. Um, but, but they're, you plug it in how it resonates. This is terrible, 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 but you're going to let that process take its place this time. So I think you're going to let them get arrested. I think you maybe pull some strings and had them not get arrested um, in the past or not had them exposed, but you're going to let it take its place this time. You plug it in, how it resonates. All right. Fair messages you have for sign of Aquarius. An Aquarius masculine is about to fall head over heels for a feminine energy. Not going to let her know off the bat. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Holy crap. 
you plug it in how it resonates um your masculine energy or your fin that takes on masculine energy however that yes however that um plugs in for you and this is what we got that goes perfect with that message you can't make this crap up just saying beginnings and resistance um i heard basically um your masculine aquarius or yeah your masculine with fem energy how that how that resonates for you um i'm sorry a feminine takes on a lot of masculine you're either masculine or a feminine takes on a lot of masculine um but i heard you're about to fall fall for a fem energy soon but you're not going to let her know off the bat is what i heard so you're going to keep a poker face you're going to keep it cool you're going to uh for some, you could be married. For some, you could be single. For some, you could be in a relationship. But there's a reason you're not letting her know that you're falling for her, is what I'm trying to say. So for some, it could be like, maybe you work with them. You work with this person and it's like conflict of interest. Or maybe they're a client of yours or you're a client of them and it's a conflict of interest. Um, so maybe you're trying to get everything straightened up until you display your feelings. Um, so it doesn't create conflict of interest. Maybe you, if you work with this person, maybe you switch and get another job or they switch and get another job. Or if they're a client of yours, you know, you wait till the services are done or they're a client, you're a client of theirs, you wait till the services are done, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But there's a reason you're waiting. And for some, you can be married and that's why you're waiting. Um, it could resonate a million different ways. You plug it in how it resonates. But I heard you're not going to let this fem energy know. You're going to fall for her. You're going to fall for her. And it sounds like pretty hard and quickly. Um, but you're not going to let her know. There are strategic reasons you're not going to let her know. Just saying. So um, number two or 25 could be very significant. Two or 25. Those could be significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Those could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be lottery numbers. It could be um, jersey numbers. It can be any significant number that you're seeing on billboards or advertisements possibly two and 25 beginnings and resistance and that to me goes perfect with that spirit message that you're about to fall for this fem energy masculine aquarius and you're not going to tell her off the bat new beginnings new feelings resistance you're going to resist the urge to tell her but it's going to be for strategic reasons just saying just saying beginnings I need y'all for one particular Aquarius. For some, a new home. For some, a vacation home. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So for some of you guys, it sounds like you're getting a new, jo uh, new, new um, job. No, that could be career path oriented or not. For some, um, uh, um oh what was the other one um a new home a new home and for some a vacation home so for some you're um, purchasing a vacation home for some a new home now that could be new to you or brand new and for some um a new job career path oriented or not but new beginnings and for some new feelings new emotional feelings Okay, and for some new emotional feelings. And one particular Aquarius is about to really, really help a family out of a toxic situation. Create new beginnings for them. Okay, and one particular Aquarius is about to help a so, uh, family, I heard, uh, out of a toxic situation. It's going to create new beginnings for them. So a beginnings upright. So helping this family out of a toxic situation. You plug it in how it resonates. Resistance. One particular Aquarius is about to come up. 
against some serious resistance, some in a family situation, your family. Because you're not covering up their toxicity anymore. Let it burn. Whoa, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. So um, whoever this is for, you're high vibrational. You're high vibrational and you might not have been in the past, but you are now. But I heard basically you're gonna you're tired of covering up your family's toxicity. That's all up in here. Somebody has a very toxic family, and I'm just being for real for real. You have to plug yourself in the messages how you resonate if you do. But somebody's got a very toxic family and you covered up for them in the past. So much so it's a one of you guys has a femme drug user family member. Just for real, for real. Um, or masculine takes on femme energy. But you covered up, covered it up, covered it up, covered it up in the past. But it sounds like it's making it a million times worse. I heard from Spirit, let it burn. So Spirit message in that was basically let it burn. You know, they made the choices to drug use. They made the, drug, the choices the drug use. They did. Not you. It doesn't sound like in here. You didn't. They did. But you're covering, you were covering up for them. But you're not anymore. You resisted in the past. You covered it, covered it, covered it up, but you're not anymore. So I heard from spirit message in that was let it burn. So I think the advice in that is to let it burn. Just let them basically dig themselves a grave because they're doing it. To, they know you're going to cover for them. For some of you guys, I feel you're prominent members of the community or positions of high authority in some shape, form, or fashion. They know that you have clout and power and et cetera, et cetera, and they know that you've been covering for them. But if you don't cover for them and you let them just go down, it will teach them a very good lesson. Um, if anybody needs to hear that. Um, that's the, what I'm feeling in here. And that's what I'm feeling you're about to do. And I don't blame you because you cannot control other people. I don't care if they're family or not. You have to take care of yourself and your children if you have them. Um, if anybody needs to hear that. Let me see if I hear anything else. One particular Aquarius is about to get outed. Very low, vibra low vibrational Aquarius. About to get outed. Works in the governmental sector for a false marriage. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So one particular low vibrational Aquarius, I heard they work in the governmental sector. They're about to basically get exposed for a false marriage. So you plug that in, how that resonates. If that resonates, if that's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. All right, you guys, we're done. I hope this helped for real, for real, for real. I love you guys so much. Um, smooches, namaste.